Hi, Mark Tan uh, This is for you, and the lighting is all screwed up, but I thought I'd just do it quick. What I mean about uh, uh, diverting the water in, a, in your erosion gullies, let's say here comes your erosion gully down, down here like this. And, and at one spot, it actually, you can see the bedrock. I hope you can see this. That's how deep it's eroded, say a meter deep. Well, what, what I would do is I, right there at its deepest, I'd get down in there and I'd get probably just a shovel or maybe a mattock or a pick and a shovel, but probably just a shovel. And I'd start to take dirt off the sides on both sides and put it in there. And I would keep doing that until that level, and I do it with water. I mean, the way I do this stuff, I, I don't use one of those uh, tripods. Uh, I don't use a builder's level or a transit. I use the water itself. I only work when the water is there to show me level. So with the water there, I would keep doing that until that water, it, it might actually have to come way down this far, I don't know. To get free of that bank. Uh, it, it, and I do it on both sides. There's that inverted V that I was talking about. A V flipped over. There's that inverted V. Now this is all on a level. Now once you get free of the bank, then you keep using level. And you can tell level because if the water runs out of your uh, zanja you're making, uh, you've gone downhill. If the water won't come into it, you've gone uphill. So you just keep going ahead of the water. You've got to have a water supply. And you just work your way along the, the hill. Now, in, I think in your case, there's a road going right here or something like that. Uh, but I would still do it on both sides. Because once I got free, then you open a weir if you want to. But you don't let the water go through like that. Uh, and, and that idea of a leaky weir, I was kind of tolerant of it for a while. But it's a, it, it would be better to just forget that name altogether. You, for, for your purposes, you don't want your weirs to leak. And you shouldn't impound water. They're, they're not dams. You're not making a little pond there. You're just turning it. And once it's turned out, well, then you can let it back down in. This actually should be a little bit higher than the rest of your, the breast of your zanja. Now, this zanja is going along like this. And, uh, and, and it can go unbelievably far if you do good work. It, it'll eventually, the water will seep into the ground. Uh, and y you know, you might have to open a weir and, and go down. See, this is your drop structure right there, if you want to use it. And there's your drop structure, not there. And here would be the next place that you would do the inverted weir and start, start out like that. Uh, now, if you had a permanent drop structure, these these hatches can be everywhere. And if you do a good job, it's within a half inch, you can get that breast. So the whole thing brims. Now, it'll build up sediment when you get a hard rain. Sediment's going to come in here, and this is going to clog. It's all right. Get there with a hoe and hoe that sediment <laughs> down until it's gone. Uh, now, when it does, when it, say it breaches here, what will happen, or, or let's say over here, it will come down and it will build up and it will make a delta like that. Well, that's fine. Just hoe that, hoe that out until, until you use it. it I'm, I'm explaining this too fast. This afternoon I'll go out and I'll try to show you what I, what I mean by this. Bye for now.